So let us see what are the human hormones, the endocrine uh, secretions present in the human bodies. The hormones are secreted by glands. Glands, gland is a mass of tissue which is secretory in nature. So these glands, they secrete the chemical substances. We have different type of glands in our body. Say for example, salivary glands secrete saliva. Lacrimal glands secrete tears. In this way, different glands, they secrete different substances. But all glands are not, all glands do not secrete hormones. These glands are different. Salivary glands are different. They, are, they don't secrete any hormone. They secrete only the saliva. There are some glands in our body which secrete hormones. Those glands are called as endocrine glands or ductless glands. Salivary glands are here. Saliva is secreted here. From here to here there is a pipe. That means the gland is secreting through a pipe into the mouth. So this is a gland with duct. It does not secrete hormone. Hormones are secreted by ductless glands. Pituitary gland is here. Growth is required in your bone. Then how this pituitary is connected to here? No tube here. From pituitary to your hand. There is no special channel. The pituitary secretes the substance into the blood. Along with the blood, through the circulatory system, the pituitary reaches this bone. There the growth happens. So, hormones are secreted into the blood. They are produced in very small quantity. Hormones are very concentrated. Even though little amount, trace amount is secreted, it shows very big impact on the body. So, hormones are so effective in affecting the growth patterns of our body. So, let us see the hormones are secreted by gland. Now, here in this picture, we are going to locate where are the glands in our body. Let us start with head. On the floor of the brain, there we have a pea-sized gland. The gland which is in the size of a small pea. That is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland, it secretes hormones like growth hormone, which affect the growth of your body. Everybody attains some height, 5 feet, 5.5, 6, likewise. So you attain the height because of the growth which is provided by this pituitary hormone. So if, you, if the pituitary hormone is effective, if the pituitary gland is effective and produces growth hormone, you will have good height. So it is all under the control of that gland. Don't blame for anything else. So the gland also functions depending upon its genetical factor. So genetically, if you acquire that character in your DNA, then definitely the pituitary gland will secrete more. Maybe it may be based on various conditions. But the thing is that the pituitary gland, even though you eat a lot of food there, you may not find proper height. So you can't blame the food. It is dependent on the pituitary gland. So pituitary gland, it secretes growth hormone which affects your growth. The pituitary hormone, the pituitary gland, it controls all the other glands of our body. That is the reason the pituitary is called as master gland. Because it itself produces some hormones. At the same time, it controls other glands. Now let us see the glands that are located in our neck region. Here in our neck region, we have important hormone called as thyroid. So this thyroid, it controls the metabolism of our body. So in every person's body, some heat is generated. In every person's body in the cell, cellular activities are carried out. So how actively your activities are carrying on that much metabolism you will have. Some people may have higher metabolic rate. Some people may have low metabolic rate. The metabolic rate is controlled by the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland secretes hormone called thyroxin. To secrete the thyroxin, the thyroid must have one important substance, iodine. If iodine is not there, thyroid cannot produce thyroxin properly. If thyroxin is not there, it may lead to a disease called goiter. The eyes become this much bigger. Protruded eyes. The eyes appear like they are coming out of your eye sockets. So some kind of abnormalities are seen. That is due to the lack of thyroxin. So thyroid gland problems. Recently you hear the advertisement, uh, the hospitals advertising about the thyroid problem in uh, females. That is at the age of 30, 35, they'll be having some problems because of this imbalance in the thyroid gland secretion. 
so for good amount of thyroxin you need to have iodine in your body from where do you get to your body that is through the food but here the fact is iodine is not found in all the food items whatever we eat it is a rarely found mostly it is found in the sea foods some people may not eat sea foods some are vegetarians they don't take any sea food then how do they get iodine into their bodies that is the reason the government instructed the salt manufacturers to add some iodine in the salt that is the reason you see that iodized salt ai shakti some names ai shakti what is ai shakti it is iodized shakti that means iodine is added to the salt so when you add salt because we add salt to all the food items we prepare so in this way we are adding iodine to the food items so the food items are taken by all the people whether they are vegetarian non vegetarian if they like some fruits some vegetables whatever you may eat you are adding the salt which contains iodine that is supplied to the thyroid to prepare the thyroxin beside the thyroid attached to the thyroid you find small parathyroid glands so here in the neck region we see thyroid as well as parathyroid these are common in both female and male i have drawn two figures here me female and male in both the cases you see the pituitary you see the parathyroid and thyroid and come down so in the stomach region in the lower abdomen we have an important organ cum gland that is pancreas pancreas helps in your digestion by secreting pancreatic juice at the same time the pancreas it acts as a gland it secretes hormones what hormones insulin and glucagon insulin is a very very important hormone in our body if insulin is not produced you are under a condition called diabetes diabetes or sugar disease you might have seen sugar sugar patients people suffering from diabetes so they have high amounts of glucose in their bodies it is because of lack of this insulin so the insulin has to be secreted by the pancreas if pancreas is damaged if pancreas is not properly functioning it is not producing any insulin so the glucose levels in your blood rises how you have eaten your meal you have taken rice with sambar with some curry some halwa something there some uh, some sweet in your food some banana some curd such a diet you have such a meal you have taken once the meal is taken into the body the food is converted to glucose most of the items are carbohydrates you have eaten rice you have eaten banana you have eaten potato you have eaten all these are carbohydrates immediately all these carbohydrates are turned to glucose the glucose enters into the blood so the blood is full of glucose if the glucose levels are high in blood the glucose is supplied to each and every cell finally it is filtered out in the urine and it is sent out so gluc glucose is not utilized in your body so you don't get any energy out of that food this excess glucose will damage your cells and kidneys that is what happens in sugar disease so what should happen if you have excess amount of glucose in your blood what should happen how it should be controlled the excess glucose should be stored somewhere that is done by the insulin right so you have lot of coins some 10000 coins you have you sprinkled all the coins all around in your room definitely you will lose some you all have you have to gather all those things at one place and store them properly in the same way here the insulin it does the work you have a lot of money at your at your in your hands you cannot handle that much of money you have 1 crore rupees you will deposit in a bank safely whenever you want you will draw some amount using a card you will draw some amount for your use in the same way whenever we take the food excess amount of glucose is produced in the bodies this excess glucose is stored in the liver liver is a bank of energy liver is a bank of vitamins minerals so in the liver the glucose is converted to glycogen and the glycogen is stored in the liver who will do the task insulin if it is absent glucose is not turned to glycogen it is moving in and around all the body parts finally excreted out the person does not get any energy he becomes so weak even though he eats the food cells and other body parts are damaged that is sugar this is so the pancreas is very very important organ it also secretes one more hormone called glyco glucagon glucagon acts in the opposite way to the insulin you have not taken anything there you are fasting 
you have some puja till afternoon you are not eating anything but your cells your body needs glucose so the glucose has to be supplied then the other one who is that glucagon this glucagon it converts the stored food in the liver to glucose again and it puts in the blood so these two hormones work in opposite antagonistic way insulin glucagon so these two hormones are secreted by pancreas now come down on the kidneys we have adrenal glands already i told you about adrenal glands they secrete adrenaline which helps in some kind of situations preparing your body to escape or to fight so that is all done by the adrenal glands adrenaline is secreted so all these are common in both male and female and come down reproductive hormones and glands these are different in male and female because males the reproductive hormones are testosterone testosterone helps in producing secondary sexual characters testosterone helps in producing male sex cells so it helps in the male body development and production of reproductive cells testis so these testis they produce testosterone that is the reproductive hormone found in males and ovaries are found in females which secrete two hormones estrogen and progesterone estrogen is the hormone that helps in the development of secondary sexual characters characters development of reproductive organs progesterone helps during the process of pregnancy lactation delivery in all such cases that hormone helps so ovaries produce estrogen and progesterone testis produce testosterone so these are the various kinds of endocrine glands and their secretions and they and how they control various reactions life processes exactly to say biochemical reactions in our body are controlled by these hormones if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus